Hello everyone, sociologist here. I want to briefly talk about Zotero, the reference program. And this is going to be my first video, so I'll just go in a random order. Uh, so let's get started first, uh, because I have already opened uh, two or three things for you. Number one, Zotero itself. Number two, uh, my a web page in which we can uh, look for an article, because uh, the articles that we find and then we saved, they are automatically linked to Zotero. So I'm planning to show it to you as well. Uh, and then here a test a Microsoft Word document where I can show you how to reference Zotero. And you can even see here uh, Microsoft Word has Zotero link. So I'm going to briefly talk about all these things in this video. Uh, so Zotero is pre pretty much straightforward uh, and free software. And it has a couple of uh, aspects or qualities that I'd like to share with you. Uh, I already for the last like three or four years i have been using zotero maybe more than that uh, extensively so i have already have all my here you can see all my library and uh, different topics under my library uh, and under each topic you can see different uh, articles for example on muslim identity uh, we i have like around 20 articles 26 and uh, you can see all these articles but more importantly when you click on an article which i've already uh, linked to you can see the info about the article on the right side if i take any notes i can see them uh, but i haven't uh, added any note yet if i want i can add some for example interesting article and then of course I never take such notes but at least uh, you can have some notes here so my art, uh, notes is already here notes are already here and I can change over here and then there are tags tags are important like keywords you can also identify the keywords and uh, other related things so let's uh, first, download an article to see uh, what kind of uh, connections we can make uh, with Zotero. Uh, in order to do that, uh, let's choose one article, one topic, institutional isomorphism. I picked a quite a yeah this is correct spelling i picked a kind of flashy topic let's see what, what we have about institutional isomorphism it's a famous sociological topic and i found for example 263 articles i'm not going to talk about how to use those articles but rather i want to share with you how we can make a connection to zotero so i'll choose one of them to see, let's choose number three, Institutional Isomorphism and the Asian Development Bank's Accountability Mechanism. So when you click this article, here when you already uh, download Zotero, you can see here, Save to Zotero option. On uh, I use Google Chrome. So on Google Chrome, you can see Save to Zotero uh, option. Uh, but before that, I need to make sure what part of my library I'm going to save this article. So institutional isomorphism is, uh, has some sociological theory and also some cultural sociology background. So I'll choose cultural sociology uh, under this uh, item. So when you click this one, it's going to automatically save to that one. Uh, we are going to see in a minute. Let's say save to Zotero. The author is Susan Park, 2017. So it goes here, saving automatically 
on the right hand side as you can see and here in Zotero you see park is already mentioned here so park uh, so for example when we click back again now I have two articles I used to have only one so I also have right now park article and then you can see all the information about parks article I keep in mind sometimes since Zotero automatically draws all this information from the this website sometimes some of the uh, information might be missing for example the year of publication might be missing it is not here but you can always change the date here by clicking on it if you don't see any uh, year of article here but when you download the article when you see the PDF full text you can uh, if you find out the real actual or actual publication date you can always uh, edit later on and then for example if one of the authors are missing you can also by clicking here you can add author uh, these are important because again when we work on the on a word document and when we want to give a reference to susan parks article we use this so of course i'm not gonna add any anybody here she's the sole author here uh, so uh, Susan Park is the only author. If you think that here it is her, the uh, name of the author is misspelled or maybe the source is wrong, you can always change it here. It's all up to you guys. So let's uh, give reference to Susan Park uh, through Zotero uh, at uh, uh, when I'm working on my on a paper, for example. And I have the Zotero uh, and add edit citation and then add edit bibliography options. And I'm going to show how it works. For example, Park believes, for example, if I choose after Park, I can add edit citation. Now Zotero asks me what kind of uh, academic style or citation or footnote or endnote or in general uh, what kind of academic style you want to use and Zotero has a lot of different uh, styles uh, believe me it's more than that when you click uh, manage styles you can get additional styles here but uh, I don't need them so when I click here I usually choose American Sociological Association uh, because it's my uh, since as a sociologist uh, I use 99% of the time American Sociological Association but Chicago is very popular and some other there are also some uh, other popular ones but uh, I'm sure you can find 99.9% .9 of all the article uh, all the uh, styles uh, available in the academia maybe all of them so I'll choose American Sociological Association okay and then I need to find park from Zotero so when I choose park of course there are some other uh, authors with the last name park or some other co-authored articles like park and Jude uh, park 2001 park 2014 and park and Jude 2005 and keep in mind these might be different uh, people so we might be talking about different personalities here uh, so I'll choose 2014 one and then when I hit enter it automatically comes up uh, and then if I want I can delete park here because I've already mentioned here so or for example some scholars for example park 2014 believe that institutional I've been okay should be like that isomorphism is applicable in religion or religious communities so now let's say I'm done with my paper so when I add edit bibliography 
it automatically comes up here you see and if i add one more let's add another one from zotor itself let's add o'brien here but o'brien thinks otherwise things otherwise so again added its citation o'brien yes keeping it halal from his book so you see not only o'brien is updated in these in this part re references or bibliography part but also uh, it is also automatically here so this is pretty much handy uh, software that you can easily give reference and it is last name alphabetical you see because american sociological association uh, and by the way we can definitely delete this this is unnecessary but uh, we should also delete this from the zotory itself okay probably they added extra information about uh, O'Brien for example from here if there's something we can definitely delete it uh, I don't see anything so it just says John O'Brien so okay I don't know why it came up uh, with extra information but that's okay you can also you, you can always check your references to see what kind of uh adjustments the software uh, makes so pretty much it is like this and also you can also when you go to a website you can also if you want to for example uh make a reference to a website or an article newspaper article or a cnn article or new york times op-ed piece uh, you can always use uh, Zotero to do that. For example, uh, N, uh, NYT op-ed. Let's, let's choose one article from New York Times, for example. I'm part of the resistance inside Trump administration. So we can definitely save this to Zotero as well. And... Keep in mind, we we are saving this, but you are saving some kind of reference to the Zotero. Uh, it doesn't automatically, for example, oh, it says an er error occurred. Let's restart. I don't know why, why it happened. So the opinion you see came up automatically, but we see here no creator, no author. So you can add the author here. Let's see who was the author here. Uh, I don't see any author. Okay, the writer is a senior official in the Trump administration. So that's interesting we have an anonymous uh, author here so you can write senior official at trump administration this was an interesting example because trump this is a newspaper so again creator becomes senior official at trump administration again uh, I don't know if it is acceptable by academic styles, but I wanted to put someone here. Maybe uh, for, for example, American Psychological Association or American uh, Sociological Association. Maybe you should put anonymous here. Uh, I, 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 I need to check my sources here. But uh, what I'm saying is you can definitely put someone here uh, to talk about. Uh, I try to remember what else we can do with Zotero, but uh it's pretty much straightforward you can always import items from uh, other places 
you can copy our citation and uh, i i don't use many of those uh options here uh but i usually try to use it to put my articles into a meaningful batch uh, and group them all together as well as some of the things that uh i need i i plan to be uh organized so, uh, for example in uh, when you click here and then when you click here and when i click my library i can see more than 2000 articles there are some duplicates because for different topics i might have downloaded or i might have referenced the same article uh, or the same uh, author with different articles but you can definitely take a look at the tags here uh, institution let's see if we have institu institutional Let's try isomorphism. So you see, when you put isomorph, probably these are isomorphism things. So we have Park's article, Studies, Processes, and Institutions of Women as Leaders. So you can also, and then Childers' article. So you can definitely find something here as part of a topic uh, for example halal when you when i looked at i i used to study halal food so i find a lot of a dozen dozens of article under halal food so uh, as long as you have a kind of treasure of articles here uh, and it's gonna accumulate over time uh, you can definitely uh, search for it and then you can take your own notes for example i have my own notes here for this one and then you can add your own tags here for example uh tourism add when you add something you can add culture for example and then zotero also gives you some recommendations or suggestions i can choose culture one of them and then click enter now i have culture so when i write culture here this article also will show up uh, factors influencing malaysian muslims to patronize halal restaurants so this is what is all about uh, you can ask any questions uh, in the comments section and i'll do my best to answer them thank you for uh, listening